Choosing the right fonts in Photoshop when you're designing something could really make or break the design. So in this video, I wanna show you how to bring in any font that you want from different websites into Photoshop, and I'll show you a couple of resources where I get my fonts. If you don't have the font that you want to bring in already, you could actually just Google free fonts and the most popular website is called thefont.com and 1001freefonts.com is also very popular. I'll go to thefonts.com here and you could explore all kinds of different fonts here, but let's say you find one that you want to try out for your design. So let's say I wanna try this font, Beauty Florist. All I have to do is press download right here and it says free for personal use. So I'm gonna press download on it and it's gonna download it as a zip file. So I just need to unzip that file here. And if I open that folder, I see a .ttf file and sometimes a different type of text file too. It doesn't matter, you just need to install one of these. Just to show you inside of Photoshop, I want to change the text here. So I'm gonna double click on this text layer here and go to the font section and I'm gonna type beauty florist and it's not gonna show up, right? Cause it's not installed yet. So all I have to do is go back and double click to install it. And it's gonna say install font here on a Mac and on Windows, it will just say it up here and you could just choose to install it to your user here and it's gonna install it. Now, I don't even have to close Photoshop. If I go back and double click on that text layer here, I could go up here and look up beauty florist choose that option and press the check mark. And this one is a little bit bigger, so I'm actually going to select it and reduce the font size here. So it actually looks right on my design and I'll press the check mark. So that's all you have to do. Find a font you want, or if someone sends you a font, just go ahead and install it on your computer and it will automatically appear in Photoshop. You don't actually have to do anything. You don't even have to close Photoshop with the latest version of Photoshop here. It will just appear like this. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.